Bitch, you can fuck with me if you wanted to. These expensive, these is red bottoms, these is bloody shoes. Hey, what's up? This is your girl Jay the Great, and I'm back with another video. Now, today's video is not me doing anything particular, but just talking because my hair had a birthday. Yay! Anyways, um, today is, what is today? Today is August 17th. My hair had a birthday on the 13th, so that was a Sunday. Today is Thursday. Um, and yeah, so three years old. I got my hair first done on August 13th, 2014. I remember that date so specifically because for one, my hair shares a birthday with my brother. And for two, this is my journey, okay? I, I got the right. But anyways, yeah. So, um, yeah, it's my hair's birthday. And I started off really, really, really tiny. So I, I think that this is good. So, um, I don't measure my hair or nothing. I don't know. Like, I feel like that's pointless. I just look at it and that's just what it is. I'm at, this is the stage I'm at, y'all. I'm at the stage where, um, you know how every little black girl, when they, when somebody be like, how long is your hair? I'm at, uh, <laughs> I got shoulder length hair. <laughs> shorter, shorter length hair stage. That's where I'm at. So, bitch be bald, but they be saying they got shoulder length, honey. This time is for real. This time I really got shoulder length. So, um, yeah, this is what I have. Um, the middle of my head. <laughs> I'll have to back up for that one. It looks longer than what I feel like it looks like every day. You know? Down to my chin. And the back is down to here. So I am proud of myself. Let me tell you guys about my hair. Okay, so when I first got my hair started, um, hold on. Okay, I had to close the door so I wouldn't have no distractions, people in my business. But anyways, when I first started my hair, um, well, before I even started it, I had, um, did a lot of research. You know how when you're getting ready to do something to your hair or whatever, you go online and you look at all the shit you can see so you can figure out what the fuck you're going to do. So that's what I was doing. Um, I had already wanted locks for like, um, for like a year or two before. And I even had wanted them when I was younger, like a kid. But, um, my mom didn't do it or whatever because she felt like she wasn't in a city where, I don't know, a city that catered to black hair. And so she didn't want to get them and not know how to take care of them because she wasn't the best hair person herself. And so that's kind of how I turned into a hair person because my mom used to have me looking, honey, trash. But let you mama, you did your thing. You did what you had to do to get me to that point. So I'm going to just let you slide. But nobody slides no more, okay? But yeah, um, so I didn't get them when I was younger, even though I wanted them. And then like a year or two before I started these, I had went natural. Because I had short, relaxed hair. And it was growing and stuff, but I don't know. Like, going to the shop and being in the shop was like killing me. And the person who did my hair, I love him. Rest in peace. Um... I loved going there and getting my hair done and he loved me like family and he used to do my hair and take care of me or whatever and that used to be cool but just that shop that black shop stuff no you'd be in the shop for way too long and I was working multiple jobs I'm a college student like no I was not trying to deal with all that so uh I went natural and um so I transition from relaxer to natural wearing braids and all that crap and um I don't know that was a cool little phase but it wasn't I didn't feel I don't know I didn't feel like complete you know like okay I'm doing this natural thing and it's cool or whatever but I could easily jump back into a perm from this honey I really can 
So, I don't know. I was already thinking about it. And, um... So I started doing my research when I was really, really started thinking about it, like, super more. Like, it was in my mind all the time. Like, I just want to get locks, da 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 So I'm on mine, looking at all the different ways you can start, looking at all the different things people try to tell you to take care of, how to take care of your hair, looking at everything, girl. And I just was like, okay. Because I was trying to decide, too, if I was going to start it on my own or have somebody else start it. But so I was like, okay, I'm going to have somebody else start this. But I never went in with the intention that they were going to start it and they were just going to be doing my hair forever and ever. I knew I was going to be doing my hair because, like I said, I didn't want to be in nobody's shop every, however often I had to be in a shop. So I didn't want to do that. So um, I got my hair started at the same salon that I went to when I was relaxed, but not by the guy, by a girl who worked there. <clears throat> and, um... She started my locks. I did twisties as the starters. I didn't do braids, opposed to like braids or a uh, two strand twist. I did a little spiral twist. And um, that's how I started. The first time I went back to her after a little while because it was really short, so I wanted to get my first little couple retwists by somebody else because my hair was so short. Like my TWA was short, and so. The starter locks look extra short, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I went again and, like, I was like, I was so nervous because I was like, my hair's so short, I'm starting this at a tiny face, and I don't want all these damn dreadlocks to wash out. And, um, so when I, when she washed them, I thought they was gonna be gone, but... They basically, they washed out a little bit, but they didn't, like, unravel all the way. She just, you know, how it goes when you have shorter hair and you start locks. So, yeah, girl. And it was, the rest was history from there. Now, I'm not going to sit here and act like it was all peaches and cream. Like, oh, I got locks and I never, I never worried about a thing. Um, no, not true. I got locks and I was happy at the twist, at the starter lock phase, like, the little twisties, those are really cute. I'm going to be honest. Like, if I was just a natural, <laughs> a loose natural, like, I would get that as a style. I like them. But <clears throat> we passed that stage. So, um, yeah, I like the twisties phase. Now, this, the phase that everybody calls the ugly phase, girl, that's where I started having some issues. And I knew I was really, really passionate about having my locks because even though I thought I looked hella funny, hella weird, I, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I, um, I wasn't going to take them out. And I was having, like, nightmares. <laughs> okay, let me tell you guys. I had a dream when I was in my little budding stage. I had a dream because, I don't know, I just was feeling the type of way. And so I had a dream that my best friend permed my hair and I was so hurt and I can and I can remember it because I felt like it was real and I was like I woke up confused like what the fuck and it wasn't even like she took the locks out or nothing it was like she permed my locks and then it just and then it was just like loose natural hair like what girl and I hit her up the next day like bitch is you plotting on me? Like, you trying to perm my hair? Like, what's going on? I had a dream you perm my hair. I was hurt. And she was like, cracking up, like, no, bitch, I did not. I did not want to perm your hair. Shout out to her, too, because she's starting her log journey now. So, hopefully she sticks to it. But anyways, um, yeah. And then, so to kind of get over that, like, me feeling like I'm looking funny and not looking as feminine as I want to. Um, I, um, just wore wigs. Now, this is not really an option for guys unless you're a guy who's into wigs, but I just wore wigs over my locks for the longest period until it started looking a little bit better for me to feel like, okay, now I can just be out like this because, let me tell you, I was doing this by myself and 
Um, although I, I had knowledge of how to retwist, I never started, you know, started somebody's dreads and then went on to finish them or just go through the whole journey with them. Like, this is something that I'm doing on my own by myself for the first time. And so, I, um, I just did it. I just went through it. And, um, I got to it. You gotta get through it to get to it, okay? So, yeah, so I did that and, um... That helped me get through that stage because I probably would have, like, combed them out or got a perm or whatever because, uh-uh, no, 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 no. So, yeah, I got through it and here I am today, three years and, what, five days strong and um, I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of being able to come to this point. And being able to, I don't know, like, from where I was at the point where I started to where I am now, it's like, you know, I've learned a lot of things and I've grown as an individual. And I really, 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 like, I really love my hair and I'm really glad that I took that step because, you know, you can think about something for a long time, but sometimes you just have to do it. And if you don't just do it, you're never going to, you know, you're never going to do it. You're never going to see what it's like. As long as you try it, then you know, then you know, okay, well, I like that or I don't like that. But if you don't try it, you're just thinking about it. You're just wondering in your head, like, well, I wonder what it would be like. Like, why wonder? Why not just do it, find out, and then you can always go back. And right now, like, I'm like, I can't wait for this to get longer. I can't wait to see what it do. Like. I'm trying to be somebody's goals out here, okay? So, um, I'm going to give y'all the side view and the back view and all that. And that's going to be that. So, here's my hair from the side. Here's my hair from this side. And from the back, let me turn around. My hair from the back. Easy breezy. Beautiful cover girl. <laughs> so, anyways, this was your girl Jay the Great. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit me up. Comment. Tell me stories about your locks and your hair and how you got it there. And if you are more advanced in your lock journey than I am. Um, I don't know, just feel free to tell me your stories, even if you have younger locks than me. Just continue to tell me your stories, and I will be in that comment section with y'all. All right now, peace out. Dirty girl, when you see me, and what you fit do, bow down, big chin, I next